Born in the Midwest and raised right here in La Crosse, described as a fierce mother, daughter, sister, and friend, a true mover and shaker joins us this morning during this Women's History Month. Joining us this morning is Carolyn Colleen. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So you're known for your fierce model of self-improvement. Can you tell us about that? Yes, so fierce. Fierce is standing in your integrity despite your adversity, doing what's right, not what's easy, five minutes at a time. Yeah, so tell us about the, the services you offer. What inspired you to kind of come up with this motto of fierce and what it means to you to be able to spread that message to other women? Yes, so I've been blessed in that I have created a model out of survival and it turned into something that many, actually thousands of women use today in which to get more of what they want and less of what they don't. And truly it's about repurposing what happened to you to happen for you and stress resilience and creating that resilience long term. So that model is something that I have been able to create and also serve women all around the world, starting right here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And what's come from that is Fierce, my model, transforming from adversity five minutes at a time. Fierce Foundation, which is my nonprofit, serving underrepresented women and children in the Seven Rivers region to create generational self-sufficiency and wealth. And then through that, as we learn on our human journey to open doors, as we've figured something out, it's our obligation to pay it forward and allow for other people to come in. And I feel the only way to break down those systematic things that, um, that might hold us back is to provide education and access to those who are underrepresented, which is why I created Fierce Foundation. But another cool thing that you have just been honored with, which kicks off today, is the women, the status of Women United Nations. It's the, the 2023 commission. Can you tell us about that? It sounds like a pretty big deal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I've been invited by uh, an organization that's re that represents the United Nations because of the work that we're doing with Fierce Foundation and with Acton Midwest. So Acton Midwest is the only STEM private entrepreneurial uh, school here in our area, right here in Onalaska, Wisconsin. And like I said before, how to break down barriers and open doors is through education and access. And so I've been invited to be a delegate for the United Nations for the Commission on the Status of Women 2023, and I will be representing us here in the Midwest. We are so lucky to have you represent us. So after you do that, you will have to come back and tell us how it went and just keep educating us throughout this Women's History Month. Yes, I'm very excited to share everything that I learned. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Carly.